Thank you, Steve. And parking lot attack. A 90-year-old Air Force veteran was punched and knocked to the ground over a minor fender bender. Tonight, the search is on for the thugs who hit him. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino joins us now live from the Publix on 6th Street in Winter Haven. That's where this happened, right, Melissa? Yeah, that's right. And you have to wonder who would hurt a 90-year-old man, let alone in a parking lot in broad daylight. You can see the two suspects speeding off in this black car. A witness trying to stop them goes flying. I jumped into one to stop, trying to stop them. I tried, I started swinging and fighting, and then they spinned off, and I fell out the car. Haram Davis heard the two men screaming at the elderly gentleman and knew he had to help. That guy, he didn't do nothing. He had his hand crawled. Leaning against a truck, that's all he was doing. Winter Haven police say the victim, a 90-year-old Air Force veteran, was backing out of a space at the Publix on 6th Street Wednesday evening when a black car drove down the aisle the wrong way. But a minor crash quickly turned terrifying. Two men got out of the car and started berating the elderly man. I said, come on, Pops, come on, man, let's go. Haram tried to get him back to his car to safety when one of the suspects sucker punched the man. He was hit pretty hard. Man felt face down. He, he got hit pretty hard. I mean, he was ambushed. He got hit in the back of the head. So the guy that struck him didn't even wasn't even facing him when he hit him. And that's a true definition of a coward. Now police need help finding these cowards. We're gonna catch you. We're gonna catch you. And we're gonna put you where you belong. We're gonna make you. We're gonna hold you accountable for what you did. We don't do nothing like that. They can't. They can't fight back. You know why? Why? Why do that? That could have been my mom laying down now. And anybody would have been mad with well, your mom and your dad. Well, police believe a lot of people saw this incident happen. Some may have even taken some video on their cell phone. They want that video. So if you have it, please contact police. As for the victim, he is going to be okay. Stacy, That's the good news. Thank you, Melissa.